Today we are going to discuss the problem solving involving sets using a Venn diagram. So since we already discussed the different concepts and sets, we are going to apply them on how to solve the problem. Pag sinabi natin Venn diagram, this is simply an illustration to show the relationship of the given sets or data which can really help us to understand and to analyze the given problem. That's why we are going to discuss the problem solving using the Venn diagram which can really help us in our everyday lives. So that's why this is really important to us to know how to use the Venn, the Venn diagram especially in education, in research, in statistics, and even other disciplines. This is a good example on how to use the Venn diagram to solve the problem involving two sets. For example, in a class of grade 7 students, there are 15 students who loves algebra. And there are 20 students who loves biology. And there are 10 students who love both of the given subjects. So, how are you going to answer the given question number 1? How many students love algebra only. Next question number two. How are you going to find the number of students who loves biology only? And the last one is how many students are there in all? So how are you going to solve the given problem? The first thing that you are going to do is list first the number of cardinality of each set. So meaning your algebra natin, we have the number of cardinality, we have the 15 students. So n is the number or this is the cardinal representation and this is a, this is the subject algebra. And this is n or the number of biology we have, 20. And ilan ang may gusto ng dalawang subject, how are we going to write that? So just simply n, use the concept of intersection, a intersection of b, meaning they have common. So this is 10 students, and then after mo ma identify ang number of cardinality of the given sets. So next step mo, you're going to construct now a Venn diagram. So next step mo, you're going to construct now a Venn diagram. So since there are two sets, A and B, or the algebra and biology, dalawang bilog lang, and then labelad set A and set B represented by algebra and biology, and then. You are going to write first the common or the number of cardinality doon sa gitna. Kasi yun ang common ng dalawang subject. So, 10. And then, next step, you are going to subtract yung common doon sa number of cardinality of the given algebra doon sa problem, which is 15 minus 10. And that is equal to 5. So, therefore, ialagay natin yung 5 dito. Meaning, 5 lang yan. 5 students. students. How are we going to find the number of do sa biology? Just simply, then and then. Since this is 20, you're going to subtract dito na lang. 20 minus yung common nila, which is 10. And there is, that is 20 minus 10 is 10. So, ilalabi mo ngayon dito. Ayan. So, since natapos natin ang number of cardinality and then the Venn diagram at na-fill up natin yung mga dapat i-fill up dyan. Now, balikan mo ngayon yung tanong. Ano yung tanong kanina? How many students loves algebra only? So, ang sagot natin doon ay, there are, kung interpret mo to, ibig sabihin nito, yung algebra, ang may gusto lang ay, lima. Okay. Hindi pwede isama yung 10 kasi ito, gusto rin niya yung biology. Kaya, hindi pwede doon. Question natin, ilan naman ang may gusto doon sa biology lang? So, there are 10 students. So, ibig sabihin, ayaw niya ng algebra. So, gusto niya biology lang siya. So, there are 10 students. And then, pangatlong tanong natin, ilang estudyante lahat sila? So, use the concept of the union of set. Pag sinabi union, you're going to get the sum or total. mag tayo. So, meaning, to get the total, to simply 
has ano yung add natin so meaning this is 5 plus 10 plus 10 and that is 25 so meaning there are 25 students all in all so yan ang sagot dun sa tanong kanina so ganyan lang kadali basta alam niyo yung konsepto ng union of sets difference of sets intersection of sets now it's your turn. You are going to construct a Venn diagram and you are going to answer the given question based on the given problem.